everybody. Custom mics here. We are in Orange, California, uh, close to the Orange Circle by the Watson Soda, original Soda Fountain Cafe. And it's a car show of epic proportions right here in the city of Orange. And uh, I don't know, we're in the outskirts of circles actually down there. And I just had breakfast at Watson's. What a breakfast. Oh my God, I'm so full. But I wanna take you, before we take you and show all the car stuff, like this Pininfarini's thingy, whatever the heck it is. <laughs> but uh, let's walk into the, to the ice cream parlor. Just the architecture and the old uh, uh, memorabilia. And, the old, uh, um, old stuff that they got hanging around, decorative decorations and soda fountains and all the other good stuff. We got friends here hanging out, having fun at the soda fountain. Yeah, and then check out this original stuff. It is just awesome. I just sat in there and had breakfast, but I figured I'd share this part of it with you. It's such an awesome little architecture and stuff, so let's sneak outside and do some car stuff. Uh, Old Town Orange is uh, kind of a cool setup too, simply because, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it's age. So, but what we'll try to do, starting from, from the original Watson Soda Fountain Cafe, we're going to make a left lap around all of it. It's going to take a little bit of time because there's a pile of cars there. And, uh, but that way I won't be swinging back and forth all the time and making your head spin. <laughs> and uh, like some of you said, you won't get seasick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what a show they got put together here. So many nice cars. There's so many of my friends too. <laughs> it was hard filming earlier this morning. So many people coming by, saying hi, having fun. <clears throat> nice 56 right there. And a little 55 right here. So, yeah. Lots of vendors, a lot of fun stuff. A lot of cars I haven't seen before. Love the Ruby front ends. A lot of LS power. Lots of shiny to look at. Oh my God. Yeah, there's uh, some real incredible cars there. Yeah, some of them you just kind of have to look at a little bit more than others. This one right here is one of those examples of a truly special car. Everything, fit, finish. It's just, just as a little thing as they made the license plate fit the curvature of the bumper and even the surround and everything, all the details, the rounded corners, the paint and the jams. Yeah, what a car, what a car. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Good, how are you? Another truly exceptional car. <laughs> but you know what? That's kind of what the neighborhood is too. 
truly exceptional. That is my favorite, 1969. This one's for Elin. I know it's not a convertible, but I'm a Pontiac fan. I was just chatting with uh, one of our YouTube friends about Pontiacs. I'm a sucker for Pontiacs. I had one of these with a 455 in it. What an incredibly stupid combo for an 18 year old to have. <laughs> I can't believe I survived that. The things you do, you know, as a kid. Looky here, another Pontiac for you. Yeah, with a tack on the hood. Love the little tack on the hood. That fin, just gorgeous. One of these days, one of these days. So much to look at. There's even a Volvo wagon sitting on the other side. We'll show it on the way back up as we get through this side. Uh, it's super clean too. It'll give you a perspective on, on my car too. Once you uh, look at one of those videos. But so many clean cars, unbelievable. There we go, Elon. This one's for you. Triple okay, black, 67, eight, somewhere on there. Yeah, just like yours. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I even got the original sticker. Yeah, baby. <clears throat> Mopar, baby. Oh yeah. I love these shapes. He was good at the sexiness for sure. Ah. Uh. So much to look at. This is an incredible amount of cars. Here. I had no idea it was going to be this big. I can tell you, this is going to be a really long video because uh, I'm making a left lap around everything. And uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be a long one. That's all I can say. Because <laughs> there's so many cool rides, and it's such a beautiful neighborhood too. Brick buildings, old heritage, all the good stuff. Anyway, uh, Orange, California is where it's at. We're at the Orange Circle, or around the Orange Circle. Uh, now I'm making a, a left focused lap. Hi, to make sure. We minimize the amount of uh, swinging back and forth, which uh, is feedback we've gotten before. Well, gonna be hard, there's a lot of people, you know. Look at that 59, lots of dress up stuff. Special bullets, overriders, and everything. Another fully dressed up one. 
How you doing? Look at that. Wow. Chrome, just a chrome alone on this front end is insane. Just insane. And this trucks and V dubs and ambulances and a little bit of everything. Oh, we know this car. Lots of memories. Hey now! Good to see you. Oh, that's interesting. A sedan with a top cut off. What it looks like anyway. Hmm. I like these scoops. Nicely done. Very different. And it, you know, I love the windshield like that too. That's the biggest problem is you have a friend drop in and they grab the top of the windshield and snap, crackle and pop. There it goes. Easily happening. But it looks cool. Just the glass can't handle it. Just got to be careful. Uh, Rama asked if I, I heard about this. A uh, little camera speed shop and Blacktop Marketing was advertising it. Um, and uh, uh, I think it's a yearly thing, um, so you won't be able. To, you got to go now, uh, or you don't get to go. Uh, we got to wait until next year. Then we got half of EW here. <laughs> I've seen it do a little wheelies too. Really nice setup. We filmed it a couple of times before. <laughs> It's very cool. Yeah, we got a whole VW row right here. There's a little bit of everything um, at this show. And I love too, I like the, all the old signs and the old buildings. It's a really neat setting to do this in. Lord, raced, patina. Oh, look at that interior. <laughs> Here I am showing off a patina interior. <laughs> but it is cool. It's like a time warp, you know? Just a total time warp. Hey, John, you should have brought your car here. It's shining in this one. You know, half the battle is having fun. And having fun is getting your butt out there, you know? You gotta drive them, otherwise they dry up and start leaking and failing and all those other things that happens to a car when it just sits there waiting for you to enjoy it. I have not seen the Type 3 notchback, but here's two Volvos. Here is a stock early 60s one uh, that's like the original Mini Merc that's on the shirt. And then you got a wagon, a 122S. Very, very cool. That's what my original one looked like. If you look at some of the videos and pictures, you'll see uh, my, how mine's been changing. So, a little here, a little there. It's the way it goes, you know. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, I saved you some mosquitoes. I'll bring them by your house later. Okay. <laughs> Keep them at your house. <laughs> I can live without them. <laughs> yeah, then I'll stay inside. <laughs> yeah, my friend lives down by the river, by the airport. His wife even got a mosquito net. <laughs> Uh, she uses, I hate mosquitoes. That was one of the things about growing up in Sweden, is uh, dealing with mosquitoes all the time. 
That's Porter. If it's green, how you doing? If it's green and wet, uh, it's gonna be um, mosquitoes. Now we're gonna dress them up with surfboard and stickers and all the good stuff. So, yeah, VW culture. So yeah, I am not liking uh, uh, mosquitoes either. Giving myself sight right there. Nice hers. I am not ready for that yet. But, um, <laughs> we got Embo shadowing us. How you doing, buddy? You can go another plug. You bet. Paparazzi Plaza, baby. <laughs> Thanks, you. Right, the Orange Plaza. <clears throat> wow, what a clean. What is that, 37? Wow, super clean. Love the white walls, too. And the trim rings. Black paint, the offset, nice and deep. I did a number on the bed too. Just beautiful. Love the old fast back too. 1965. Oh, you missed the show. I'm sorry. Well, there's always next year. You might as well sign up right now and secure your spot. Oh, I drool at this one earlier. Hey, Torgny, this is what it can look like if you spend some hours filing on it. Wow. All it takes is time and money, right? I think Rob's been here for too long, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and you're live too. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <clears throat> you got a t-shirt, friends. Gotta have some fun with them. Yeah, we did a little bit of a teaser earlier on our Facebook page. With a little bit of a video. We actually stopped at this place, but let's look at things a little bit more. 409 baby. Black on black with the red interior. What a combo. What a combo. 1968, there might be a hint there, <laughs> and a nice board by Pat Riley Nicole, our Dream Team member. All right, we are at Glacel, right next to the orange uh, circle plaza combo, whatever you call it. And we're doing a left, left, uh, left pass all the way around. Yes, it'll be a long video. And uh... <laughs> God, I can't believe how many cars are here. Just an insane amount of cars. 
Just an insane amount of cars. <laughs> I love it. You know, the utility beds are starting to come on real strong. Love that part. Yeah. Totally motivated. And uh, get to the Terry, you know. Ah, 63 Ford Galaxy. What a rod. What a hot rod. Yeah, you can see Orange Plaza. Look at all the architecture stuff, too. Great place, man. Great place. Old signage and old cars, old spirits. 1955 delivery. That is slightly on the loud side. I might need some Pepto Bismol to process this one. We have 406 in it, huh? How beautiful is that? Monte Carlo's pickup truck. Four wheel drives. Dragsters and 55 Chevys. Yeah, man. Monte Carlo is it? Yeah, I think so. I've been wrong before. Too much gorgeous stuff. Too much gorgeous stuff. Orange, California. Nice, beautiful, overcast morning. The sun's not beating me up like it did yesterday on the bike. Well, I'm on the bike today too. Can't help myself. It's a great way to get in, a great way to find parking and uh, get her done. Love Bagman's ride. Long, long time ago. It was one of the first that dropped it on the ground. That's a good looking execution. And I think he's done more than one or two. <laughs> he might have ripped a couple of boards off too. You never know. But. <laughs> hey, guy. Then you got a Lincoln Continental. Must be a ladies Lincoln Continental. <laughs> Lincoln lady. Beautiful uh, roast work on it. Got a friend with her. <laughs> Just keeping things straight for you. <laughs> you got them in black and white. Maybe his and hers. From the Suicide Kings. Yeah, baby. Lincoln crowd, hot and heavy. It's a good contrast. Both of them there in black and white. Then you can always go, I'm gonna try not to fall over here. And we have a convertible. Big, big wheels. Nice wide interior, suicide doors. Oh, yeah. Oh, we will. <laughs> Man, those wheels are big. Hey now. Hey, hey, good to see you. I figured out what time it was, huh? <laughs> yeah. Good to see you guys. Good to see you. Hey, you'll notice a custom mic sticker on my car. Oh no, I missed that. I'll have to go back and look. Thanks, guys. How you doing? Excuse me.
Good, how are you? Not too bad, thanks. All right. We're at the end of this cove. And we're at Lemon. And what's the car seat? I don't even know. Hey, hey now. Famous photographer. How you doing? Good, good. Let me give you a flyer. Oh, thank you. Ruby's at May 6th. Ruby's at May 6th, huh? Well, now it's live, too. We'll get about 400 cars. 400 cars. That's awesome. Nice. Thank you for your service, too. I said, thank you for your service. Oh, oh, you're welcome. Why are you talking about her? That's my, that's my granddaughter. Well, she's beautiful, but, you know. <laughs> thank you for being beautiful. Break, breaking her in. Bro. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. Oh, we got some bling bling here to look at. Oh, overload. 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 Look at the candy. Oh my god. Yeah. You gotta keep this stuff clean too. That's the worst part. It's like a full process. Full, full process. Oh look at that. All the bling. All the good stuff. Beautiful leather. Beautiful candy. Look at those Pontiac lights. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, too bad I won't fit in these. Love it when they two-tone it like that. And the flames on it. Nice little sunken antenna. Oh yeah. Hot 37. Hot, hot, hot. I agree, I agree. Got a few nice C10s here too. And I, I'm going to officially apologize for not responding to all the, the chats. I do appreciate them more than you believe. Uh, but there's so much to look at and so many people. And I got to make sure I don't smack this uh, rig into some of these paint jobs. That would be a disaster, you know. Uh, so I got to pay attention to what's going on around me and not run into a bunch of people. They're cruising around in the show too. There's a lot of them here. It's just such a gorgeous show. Such a beautiful area. Ah, another bubble top with a convertible top. So your entry is only forty-five dollars. Look at that red. I bet you it's triple red too. So much else power in this uh, this world right here. <laughs> yeah, everybody's calling my name. Sometimes I feel like a monkey. <laughs> Everybody knows the monkey. I gotta go back to the cutlass. This one's for Juan. This is a Supreme. And I'm still looking for quarters, doors, and roof off of a 72 Supreme. If anybody got a pair, Rusty's okay. But it's gotta be a Supreme. With the quarters like that. And the kind of squarish roof. Anyhow. Lots of stuff to see. Lots of stuff to see. And it's just endless. We I don't think we're even half no, I don't think we're even halfway through. Oh this is a short one, thank God. <laughs> I shouldn't say thank God. But it's a short street, so oh look at that wagon. And the wheels, oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. Look at those wheels. 
So I'm going to spend some serious dough on those. What a view. Hey, I know that dog catcher, but she's got her phones on. She can't even hear. Ha, I got you. <laughs> uh, these are my friends from Norco. Out hanging fun, hanging out. And this is uh, my friend Will's 54 Chevy. I guess he must've just got it. Man, clean, fresh paint. I had a 54 Pontiac wagon, almost identical. Beautiful setup. Yeah. Lots of memories. Lots of good memories. I wouldn't mind having that again. Then we got a 59 Cadillac. All original, looks like. Nothing like a car. I don't even fit in the camera lens at a reasonable distance. <laughs> Standard of the world. I have questions. Big trunk and shovels? <laughs> I have questions. <laughs> well, you know, I forgot, I forgot the box of lies. Got the gloves. Ah. There's gloves in there too. Oh, okay. How about plastic bags? It's right there. Oh, they are right. Oh, yeah, yeah. The sheeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got weights too? No. no. <laughs> Just throw the spare in there yeah, and tie them up. It's desert. It's desert. <laughs> Thanks, guys. What a ride. What a ride. Nice little fleet lines. That's a few of them here. <clears throat> <laughs> you never know what you're going to see at uh, an orange car show. Mr. Boulevard Fleet Line, gorgeous car. This is one of those things that from... Yeah. <laughs> I took a peek at it. Beautiful car. I had a 54 Pontiac a long time ago. We'll chat some more. Um... Yeah, these cars from the factory were absolutely gorgeous. They need very little. You know, it's one of those designs that, that the customizer don't need to do too much with in order to have an absolutely gorgeous car. So, anyhow, we're continuing out with some Grand Prix, early 60s, 3 4 ish. Gorgeous pickup trucks, nice Chevys. I love hood ornaments, so we got to have a few of those. Little GM convertibles. What a show. What a show. Look at that building too. Love the old school two-story buildings. With the apartment stuff upstairs. And uh, nice center plaza with a circle around it. Yeah, life could be worse. Gorgeous. Look at these things. Yeah, 
just beautiful. She saw the same thing. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, that's, uh, we're going to have to walk around that a little more. 39. We're doing a Pontiac for John. It's a coupe, but interesting how little things changed yet so much. Hey, John, look at those skirts. It would be cool to find a set of those for uh, for yours. Not that far off. That was a knob right here. Yes, gorgeous. Oh, he's got a red stripe on his chrome. Yep, just looking for some details for comparing to John's car since we're here. Oh, we saw a picture of this Buick a while back on custom mics. Good to see it in person. I'd like to be in that driver's seat. <laughs> Look at the cigars, this freaking gorgeous. Nothing like a mild custom. Well, I guess this one would be wild since it's a chop convertible, but. I'm having a good time. I uh, appreciate you guys being with us. And if you like what we do, please uh, take the time to hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. Then I'll notify you anytime we go live or upload something. Hey now. Hey girl, hope you're having fun. I haven't seen you yet, but I saw Rod a little bit ago. So anyway, um, Oh, look at that, the chopped shoebox. So, yeah, subscribing, liking, sharing, commenting, all that stuff uh, is very supportive to custom mics and uh, will make people like our, uh, or see our stuff more often. So, thank you for you that have already done it and to you that will do it today. Gorgeous truck here too powerhouse it looks like oh yeah happy camper <laughs> vroom vroom <laughs> wow so much to see We got Blacktop Market, his Ford over there. He told me there's a custom mic sticker on it, so that's one of the things too. When I'm done filming, I'm gonna walk all the way around one more time, put a sticker in as many cars as I have stickers. Uh, so hopefully I have enough. <laughs> oh, another Cutlass. Oh yeah. 442, baby. 442. Mikey Lanky, 71. Here you can see the difference in the quarter. It has a kind of a wedge shape and then it has a round quarter panel on the Supreme Ford. And I'm looking at it, it's kind of angled here and this goes back and is angled down. That's the kind of roof and quarter and door I need for a early 70 cutlass. And like I said, rusty okay. I don't need the back glass, but I do need side glass if you have it. Anyhow. 64 Wagoneer, with what else? <laughs> Escalade set up in it, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna power it, power it good. A little more Pontiac. GTO. Oh, there's a Pontiac show coming up too. 
May 7th. Oh, awesome. Oh, this has got to be Pontiac Row, huh? Yeah, seven of us. <laughs> seven Pontiacs. Oh, yeah. Yes, it's an absolutely beautiful day for a car show today. Uh, it's overcast, holding the sun down a little bit. And uh, God, look at that barbecue place and the signage. There's so much cool signage here, too. Anyway, uh, uh, and it's Pontiac Day in Orange. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, coming here and enjoying this is uh, a fabulous time of the day. They're going to be here until 3, if I have it correctly. Uh, so there's an opportunity if you're close, get in your car, jump on your bike, come on down and see. I mean, look at this combo. I think uh, John Kennedy has just outdid himself with this Hopalong Cassidy and Wizard setup. That is just gorgeous. Wow, just to work in the freaking wagon alone. Hey, how you doing? Good, good, good to good. see you, Ed. Good. Running into you everywhere, huh? Uh, yeah. We're like the same things. I think that's part of the problem, huh? <laughs> However, you do put a few more miles on than I do getting these things. Well, you know. This one's close to home for me. Well, actually, for the last, well, for almost 40 years, I worked the Long Beach Grand Prix. Yeah. It's the same weekend as the show every oh, year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only the second time I've been to this show. Wow. This is, uh, I think, this is a, probably my first time. So, but it's, you can't go to them all, you know? No. And some people get upset when you come, don't come to this show or don't come to that show. I'm like, there's only so much of me, <laughs> and there's only so many miles I can do. Have you been down that way? Nope. Okay, there's a green roadster tan top with an, a uh, 409 in it. Oh. Take a close look at it. Well, there was a friend of mine who passed away about three months ago. Yeah. So Don Linford, I think, bought it. Uh, cool. He at least brought it, but I, I have a hunch Don bought it. Yeah. yeah. All right, it's good to see, see you. Thanks, Thanks, my friend. I love my friends here. I am so fortunate to be able to live this lifestyle and bring it to you. And uh, I'm grateful for all of those that, that in one way or another help us make that happen. And uh, you know who you are. But even, even when you subscribe, like, comment, share, and all that type of stuff, it's it's supporting custom mics too. We don't we don't ask a lot, and we don't we don't advertise and and do all that type of stuff. And and uh, so when we ask for for the subscribe and like, which doesn't cost you anything, we're hoping that you do it just to be supportive. You know, <laughs> oh, this is pretty cool. Um, 1958. Oh, yeah. So anyway. We are grateful for the support you are giving us. Look at that roof. Yeah. If you don't, you know, you got to do what turns your crank. <laughs> La Donna. Yeah, baby. Look at that uh, stripe in there. This is x-ray that we're going to get today. <laughs> Look at that big butt right there. Oops, that was x-rayed again. But this, uh, this show is just... Uh, Phenomenal, and like I said, the architecture and everything you can enjoy here the, the shops, the food places, the restaurants. <clears throat> oh, here's the, the 32 that uh, Ed was talking about with the 409 in it. Look at this thing! Oh, yeah, I don't want to get too close. Four oh nine, baby. Look at those brake drum setups. Well, they're they're hiding the the real thing. And then you got this cool thing right here. Slam thirty six. Mm mm mm. So much to see. And I was asking, sent me a message asking how I'm doing. It. Well, I did most of my grieving yesterday. And today is car show day in Orange, California. It doesn't mean I'm done. 
but the 400 mile trip yesterday, um, you know, celebrating my dad, um, helped a lot. And uh, now it's time to get back to, at least try to be a little bit normal and uh, give back to our community. Because we do appreciate you a lot. A lot of cool V-dubs. Oh, dual Webers. Love how that sound when they open up. And even, oh, that's a good place too. The filling station. Awesome little restaurant. And then you get the coffee place. There used to be a gas station. There's a lot, a lot of cool stuff here in Orange. And uh, well worth place to come visit. That looks like a 912. They're getting a lot popular than, than it used to be too. Um, so, what's that, a sunbeam tiger? Yeah, it is. Sunbeam tiger. With a 260 V8 in it. Whoops, <laughs> it's all good, man, it's all good. <clears throat> Now we saw these two rolling in. Oh yeah. Is that a 40? Yeah, it looks like a 40. Master Deluxe. Again, look at that transparent uh, acrylic hood ornament. Nice blue. 59, another 409 and a 59. Yeah, baby. It could be a 348. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Envious Green Mopar. Wow, solid black, jet black, hard to do. Hard to make it look nice. This one's beautiful. Yeah, lots of people enjoying the show, downtown Orange. I guess we have a Mopar row here. At least a few of them. What a day, what a day. A little Carmen Gee action. I haven't seen the Type 3 yet, but I'm not saying they're not here. To all our veterans, thank you for your service. We do appreciate you. Oh, look at the nice awnings up on the building too. Very cool. It's almost like we're in a box of Skittles again. All these colors, yeah, that's yeah. A cool car show all this beautiful, beautiful chrome. All these motors, ooh, a New Yorker. Gorgeous cars. Virgil Exner, if I remember correctly. Just fins forever. Look at those carbs. Pretty amazing. Yeah. Well, cross ramp, though. Well, it's close. It's, it's probably more functional, though. <laughs> 392, though. Yeah. So much nice stuff. Now we got Blacktop Marketing here. 
We got Canberra Speed Shop over there. You should come over here and check out some of the work that they've done. Incredible stuff. Incredible stuff. I love these. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, girl. Uh, I'm so glad you could come. My favorite gal from no, the camera don't, field. Don't, don't look at me. Don't, no. dude. Don't, I don't, don't. Since four. Yeah, so have I. <laughs> I to give you a hug. I appreciate that. Come over and sit and get water. If yeah, when I'm done with my lap. Oh, he said he's got a custom mic sticker on it. And he does. Proudly displayed on the left front. And this club sedan. Thank you. We appreciate it a lot. Blacktop's been part of our family for a long time. If you have a sticker, uh, it means I've looked at your car more than likely. Maybe even filmed it. Um, so if you display it and I missed it, take a picture and send it to us. Or just tag us in it when you post it. We like that a lot. And there's another way of supporting us that doesn't cost you anything. And I give you the stickers. So, anyhow. It is fantastic to be at these shows and have the level of support that you guys provide us. Look at that really good. Sweet, sweet thing. I think we're about, uh, let's see here, yeah, probably two thirds of the way through uh, this walk around. Got an absolutely gorgeous Cuda, Barracuda convertible right here. Big fat tires. I don't know if that's a real one or not. It kind of looks funny, but maybe they are. I, don't, I haven't seen that many of them. Love the back end of these, so. Oh, look at the flames. Nicely done. I like that. I like that. Very cool. Tilt front end, a little bit of a nose down gasser style. Different. Nice little Corvette. 396 convertible. Nice 64, another Barracuda. Love the Barracudas. This one's got a big mouth. <laughs> and another one. Almost the same color as my Camaro. Hope my Mopar friends are happy with the amount of Mopars that we have here today, because it's a few. Then we get into the lowrider crowd, or a few of them. They were sleeping earlier. <laughs> Must have been there early. Striping, nice work. <laughs> There's just something about a Riviera. You just have to wipe it down. You have to feel that quarter panel rolling up. This gorgeous black's absolutely beautiful too. I love these lights, the grill, everything about them. Excellent front end. A little fun tea bucket.
Short little side street. Coming back up again. Oh, this one's for sale. 949-690-4668. Looks like a gorgeous little pickup to have fun with. Stock flathead. Oops. Let me get down so you can see it. Yeah. Six volt flathead F100. Come and get her. Get her done. Another four wheel drive. Like I said, there's a little bit of everything here. Oh, brand new too. 390, all done up. Gorgeous. All right. Boy, I'm flat worn out. Look at those tires. Woo wee. Lots of motivation under the candy. Candy apple red, low vet, high vet. Excuse me. Breakfast was awesome. <laughs> Stomach just sent me some memories. <laughs> Oh, here he goes again. Here's What's good. going on Great. here? <laughs> they had some gentlemen right there. Oh, he got me. That's for the ladies. <laughs> oh, for the ladies. Oh, the ladies <laughs> here, here. This one's for the ladies. <laughs> oh, wait, I can't myself. There we go. We got some fun action. All right. <laughs> Just gave him a backside for the ladies. Not that it's much to be proud of, but. Oh, that's that gorgeous 60 that rolled in. They look so good in white. Yep. And the tow truck we saw rolling in on the Facebook video. Another 57 Olds. Can't wait to see Torgius done. Put a big motor and all that stuff. Ford with a TPI action. Shorty, we've shown it a few times, but it, it is very different. A 38 Ford, a little chopped off. Some people chop the top, others chop other areas. So we're at the outer edge of it. We have about one block left to do, and then we are off to hang out with the Canberra family in their booth, have some water, maybe go even tinkle a little bit. Look at this, an old Morgan. Or an MG, I should say. Yeah. A little English. Wood and metal. And bolts. <laughs> Very cool. A little triumph action. Nothing little round shapes. Put a smile on your face. Austin Healy. Lots of ventilation there. Yeah, this is like the UK crowd. different rides, lots of different styles, and shape 580 SL, huh? Wonder what he's got under the hood on this one to make it a 580. We'll look at it from the other side. Must be something. Well, looks like Chevrolet for sure. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have fun with them. Once that motor goes out, it gets expensive, the stock one, you know, so this is a way to 
Make it a little more fun. Custom taillights, too. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Hey, you're more than welcome, Dennis. Oh, yeah, there's an amazing collection of rides here. Just an amazing collection of rides. <laughs> and uh, I would call this vivid green or vividly envious green. Or is it vividly I hurt my eyes green? <laughs> Love the tops on these. You can't see out back for crap, but oh, you even got eight tracks in there. <laughs> awesome. And he's selling a 59 Ford 18K. 949-458-9603. Ah, this thing's loud. Very, very cool. Some more mope bars. A little ram air action. Oh, T-tops too. Mm -mm -mm. Huh? We even got dairy action, milk wagon. There you go. <laughs> it goes moo. Mm -hmm. We got to do for the. one here. Push the button and listen to what the cow. What? what this is what happened. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fresh milk now. Funny stuff. The things that you entertain yourself with at the car shows, huh? Yeah, baby. Let's see, did we go down this road? I don't remember. We're gonna have to go down this road. Yeah, we didn't go down this road. We'll catch this. This is the last, last one before we go back to the, whatever that Pinaferini one is. A little metro. Love the little metros. Yeah, I know. It must be Rebecca's, huh? <laughs> Is that even a motor? It looks like a starter motor for a Chevy almost, yeah. <laughs> yeah, beautiful, gorgeous red cars. Lots of red today, too. A little spider. A little Corvette. See, Christine, you're missing out. Oh, we got the Javelin, the Corvair, and the Woody. We'll get them from the front, too. Since we're out and about. Yeah, Oh, it's got a little bike in there, too. How cool. Yeah, it brings memories up, don't it? Yeah. Real wood woody. Got wood. Yeah, baby. 1950. That doesn't look like a stock one. Heavily powered, yeah. 32 valve late model, fun stuff. So yeah, we are in Orange, California. Close to the Orange Circle in their downtown historical district. And we've done a long one today. Oh, look at that. Ah, this thing is just unbelievably gorgeous. So much money and time spent on this one. Just gorgeous. Yeah, just gorgeous. Anyhow, let's see what this one is. I don't even know what this one is. Oh, it's a Fiat. Okay, no kidding. It's a Fiat 1959-1200. And it's got pivoting seats. My lordy lord. Yeah. Very cool. We got a pup right there, too. Hey, pup. <laughs> Beautiful dog, man. So, yeah, we are back at Watson's Soda Fountain Cafe, where I had breakfast. And they were nice, too. They had some gluten-free options. We like that. And uh, we've gone a whole lap and shown you all the cars with a left lap uh, preference. 
to minimize the swinging back and forth that I tend to do. So anyhow, love you all. Thank you so much for supporting us here at Custom Mics. And uh, if you like what we do, subscribe, like, share, comment. Then we'll see you at the next one. See ya!